What is Freon? Well, basically, for huh. yeah, just give me one second. <laughs> uh, <you> know, <coughs> what is Freon? Oh, um, <laughs> uh, what is Freon? Well, I'm glad you asked. Believe it or not, but one of the most common problems with AC units are refrigerant leaks. The problem is, is that when these occur, most techs will simply tell you that your system needs to be charged with Freon. But what does that mean, and what even is Freon? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. What we need to understand is that Freon is simply another word for refrigerant. It's a brand name that encompasses a large number of refrigerants, such as R12, R22, R11, and the list goes on. So I'm always being told to keep things organized, so let's split this video into two parts. First, we are going to be looking at the timeline of Freon and the different iterations of this refrigerant. And secondly, we're going to be looking at what this means for the rest of the world. So we'll start over here. The first form of Freon ever made was R12. It was made in order to find a non-toxic, non-flammable replacement for what was being used as a refrigerant. Things like ammonia, toxic gases, things that were very harmful. Now eventually R12 was banned from being used as a refrigerant due to the fact that it contains CFCs. In other words, chlorofluor CFCs were especially the concern due to the effects people believed it had on the environment. It didn't take long though for those environmental protection agency guys to snatch up R12 away from us. This caused a new version of Freon to rise, which was R22. R22 didn't contain CFCs, but instead contained HCFCs. This was kind of the middle of the pack when it came to these kind of chemicals. January 1st on 2020, the government's banning it from being imported in the United States. But I hear you asking, Austin, R22 is going to be banned. What are we going to use as a Freon? Well, I'll answer that question for you. Well, allow me to introduce my good friends, HFC and HFO. These types of refrigerants were made to deal with the concerns about the global warming potential and the ozone depletion potential, things that have been talked about ever since the 80s, the ozone hole. Now I get it. There were a lot of crazy facts and abbreviations in there. How do you make sense of it all? Well, rather than letting me tell you, let's let a real expert share his opinion. When we do, So let's identify some acronyms here. CFC stands for chlorine, fluorine, carbon. Chlorine is the part that we worry about according to the EPA and the global community. It's the chlorine that gets up into the stratospheric ozone and damages the ozone as far as the ODP, which is ozone depletion potential. But then you have GWP, which is global warming potential, and even some of these refrigerants like HFCs, which are hydrogen, fluorine, carbon. They have no chlorine. They still have according to the international environmental community, they still have a high global warming potential. So ODP is ozone depletion potential. That was the old stuff like R11 and R12, the old things that we would traditionally call Freon. And then R22 is an HCFC, hydrogen, chlorine, fluorine, carbon, still had that chlorine in it, so it still had some ozone depletion. So that's what's being used as a refrigerant now. But it still gets back to the question, what does it mean when you're being told you need to pump your system with more Freon? Well, what that means is that you have a refrigerant leak. Whether it's Freon or another type of refrigerant, what we know is that refrigerant isn't something that's used up. It's either contaminated or more likely it leaks out. So it's very likely that you have a refrigerant leak when someone tells you that your system needs more Freon. So sure, charging your system with more Freon will solve your problem but only temporarily. Don't pursue a short-term solution, pursue a lasting one. All of this to be said, the word Freon is just a brand name for different types of refrigerants. Traditionally, R12, R11, and R22 are the three that most people associate with that word Freon, but there continues to be new Freons even today because that is just a brand name of DuPont Kimors. All right, thanks for putting up with Austin and me in this video. Hopefully that clears up what 
refrigerant and freon is and what you need to know about it <laughs> 